Hi everyone, Shadowslick here, going to be helping you through Portal Knights this time, the newest game to join the Xbox Gold Pass library. First thing, do I recommend that you go for the Platinum or try to get all of the achievements? No. Nope. And that's specifically tied to one achievement slash trophy, which I'll get to later. Secondly, uh, this game is fun if you're a fan of Minecraft, and if you're not, don't expect much. I enjoyed this game when playing with friends, but not as much alone. Uh, third thing, at this point we've established that you're going to be playing the game, so I would recommend a archer or a mage. I'll link a character build guide in the description below, and this is because it's much easier to get some of the boss related trophies and achievements when you're playing a ranged character. Alright, you've got your character made, welcome to Portal Knights, let's go to my place, Moo Moo Farm. Just before we do that, I did want to say that nothing is missable in this game. Uh, so that is one of the perks for this one and going for all of the achievements and trophies. Now for a brief overview of the game before we go to the achievements. Step 1, explore. Step 2, build things. Step 3, get stronger. Step 4, kill things. To progress through the game, you need to find portals such as this one. Put in the appropriate colored portal blocks to activate the portal, and then this will allow you to go to new worlds to get new materials and get stronger. Step 1. Play through the game and have fun. You want to visit all of the islands and open up all the portals. You can see here I'm still missing a portal for Shrieking Sands, and you also want to complete events as you go, like the one in the top corner that says Happy Honey, the Pet Merchant. So you also want to be placing a workbench at each of these locations. I'll have a checklist uh, for you in the description below. I definitely suggest making a sort of hub in one of the earlier worlds, which you can put your furnaces, your anvils, and your workbenches, and then upgrade them all to the max to get the respective trophies. Step two are the boss challenges. There are three trophies and achievements related to this one. Uh, one for the worm, one for the dragon, and one for the hollow knight. Each boss is just represented by the skull on the map. Uh, so basically there is a certain thing you have to do for each boss. I'll be posting other videos that give better descriptions for each character for this. Uh, I'll just give you a quick preview of what you're supposed to do with the beginning one, the worm. Uh, first of all, I recommend doing this when you're level 30. Uh, that way uh, you can just blast through people. Uh, with the worm, you need to not kill any of the small worms, but make sure you only hit the worm tail. And if you do that correctly, and go through the whole boss with a uh, correct correctly identifying the uh, worm tail over the small worms in each of the phases where they come up, uh, then you'll get the trophy for this one. Trophy slash achievement. So you can see here, there are a bunch of small guys, and then this huge guy it says worm tail, so it's pretty hard to uh, mess it up, but hey, it happens. So again, just do this a few times and you'll be good to go. Step 3, this is the worst of it, the grind. So for the first one, of 4, you need to mine 53,596 blocks. So you don't need to actually collect them, but you need to do that many blocks. I'd recommend waiting until the end of the game to get the super drill, which you can get by talking to Mr. Chappelle after beating the final boss and giving him 400 dirt. The next grindy one is mass production, which is to craft 1,000 items. For this, I'd recommend just spamming wood blocks once you've beaten the game, because of course you will be building some items during the game anyway, so you're going to want to just wait until you're done the game to do this one. Continuing with the grinding trophies, the next one is down the rabbit hole. You need to make a complete rabbit armor set and eat a carrot while wearing it. The first piece you get from killing this guy called Recipe for Fluffy's Wits. So Fluffy's Wits is the helmet. Uh, you get Fluffy's Strength, the gloves from the worm, Fluffy's Courage, the chest piece from the second dragon boss, or sorry, the dragon boss, and then Fluffy's Speed, 
from the Hollow Knight boss. These are all rare drops, so they're not guaranteed to happen. I think I've killed the worm five or six times, and you know, at that point, I still hadn't gotten it, so uh, that kind of sucks. Uh, there are some materials you obviously need to craft these, and I'll be posting more details on a link below in the description. The last one is Dedicated Knight, and this is the reason why I said I did not platinum this game. You need to complete 200 events, so this guy right here is one of the examples, uh, and that just takes so much time. You'll probably spend 10 hours doing these just focusing on this trophy. Uh, because of that, it was too much of a grind for me to even want to bother, so I left it alone. Uh, not only do the events are they not always there? Uh, you'll have to skip your time ahead on the PSN or Xbox just to get new events to trigger. Some people have used the Easter egg event and then just kept refreshing it, uh, but by doing so you'll pretty much destroy your world uh, in order to keep doing the same event. Uh, I'll post details about the Easter egg event um, in the description below, but that's kind of a last case resort and it might be just a little bit faster than doing this the normal way. All right, so you're done the 200 events. Congratulations. That means you've probably done every single achievement and or trophy in this game, which is a pretty impressive feat in itself. Uh, so what do you do at this point? Have some fun. Post if you have any questions about the game, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching, and have yourself a good time playing this game. Have a good one.